Hello everybody, this is your time again here. Welcome back to another reaction uh, video. And today we're going to be continuing to our reaction to the Jameson 3D, the Dream Within series. Um, we're at episode 6 now today, uh, called Dream of the Past Part 2. Um, and yeah, just one more episode to go until I catch up to the latest episode of the Dream Within. Um, and it seems like this series has a long way to go. <laughs> you know, which is, which is exciting, I'm not going to lie, because I feel like every single time uh, our characters that that being set up in this series is so far interesting, you know, it's not super complicated and that's a great thing to be honest, <laughs> you know, so without further ado, let's just start this episode, shall we? Oh my god, the buffering again. Those were the best times. Times. It's a shame that it's all over. Hmm. So I, I was right. No one can see me. And I gotta say, the puppet kind of lo looks creepy. Attention, though. <laughs> all Freebie family dinner customers. In the background, sorry. We are all now closing for the night. Please head to the exit. Hmm. Thank you for coming. So, what do I do now? That kind of sounds like my crime. <laughs> Again, sorry. <laughs> oh, Spring Shadow Freddy? Morning. No, this isn't right. Oh, it's man. not supposed to be in this part of the past. Oh wow, what the hell? I need to send him a little bit more into the future. Hmm. Oh. What was that just now? <laughs> well, I guess Shadow Freddy is going to be, <laughs> you know, Dirt. a crucial character again. No I need to get back what I need to do. Like the one who, you know, just um, make everything right, I guess. Hmm. I wonder if Shadow Freddy is going to become a villain or maybe just like a, a character that, you know, makes sure that everything in, in line or something like that, you know? Just making sure that the timeline wasn't screwed up or something Where like that. Now? Even though Springtrap is clearly, you know, dreaming. Something is not right. Hmm. Here we go again. Yeah, this is after they uh they got you know decommission. Well, decommission. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where they after the bite, I'm assuming. Where am I now? <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> Sorry. Is anyone here? What happened to us? We must be deactivated. Hmm. Wonder what that was. Oh, that's the original. Are those our replacements? What on earth happened here? Meanwhile, in the real world, what are you playing? It's called dumpster diving with James and 3D. Oh man! What kind of game is that? <laughs> I honestly don't know. <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> Spring I love that it's like Toy Freddy, Freddy picture. Oh no, Freddy! Toy Freddy was not exist. Let's go see what's going on. Alright, take my hand. 
What? Why? Just trust me. Do you trust me? <laughs> Sorry. Oh. How on earth did you do that? Never mind that. Look. How long has he been like this? Since last night. I'll see what I can do. So maybe this thing happened. I guess this thing happens because of Shadow Freddy, right? And not the the Night Guard. Because I'm assuming it's the Night Guard based on the things that he do in the last episode. But it seems like it's not the Night Guard. It's actually, you know, it's actually Shadow Freddy, you know, in some way. Um, and again, I'm curious to see if Shadow Freddy is going to become... Is he, is he like the villain or maybe he's like just a character just try to fix or like make sure everything like goes uh the right way or something like that like make sure everything goes to you know like the like fate or destiny or something like that i don't know um either way i call i quite enjoy that episode um i like it that there is some uh there is some build up obviously on the why sprint trap is having this dream of the past um and I think yes, I think Shadow Freddy was the one who was responsible for this because well he, but but then again he looks shocked. So maybe he was meant to send Springtrap to the future, but for some reason Springtrap decided to choose the past or something like that, right? Or just like, accidentally go to the past instead of the future, and that's why it's like oh no, I I should send him send him to the future for reasons. Um, and I'm curious to see if Springtrap is going to become like you know like angry to the to the original animatronic or like their replacement in you know, a freddy and his gang because well he seems i mean he seems disappointed obviously because of the old days but so far fred bear has no problem with the the original animatronic so i'm curious to see if spring is going to be like okay with them is or maybe after this room is going to you know it's going to uh you know like piss off or like angry at the at the animatronics and then maybe cause a fight or something like that um i don't know i hope it doesn't happen because again it's been done so many times um but yeah shadow freddy is here that's good i guess <laughs> um Fractor finally takes the puppet to the to the spring trap to the spring trap obviously um and yeah i'm really curious to see what's going what's you know what's what is happening here like what is spring trap seeing this a dream you know like, or seeing the future for some reason because of shadow freddy you know what is shadow freddy's role in this story you know and what is the night guard uh role in this story you know and i hope that the night guard is going to become the main villain instead of like the typical you know finance of freddy's animatronic like or like nightmare and all that kind of stuff because if it's, again it's been done so many times so it will be interesting to see if if uh if a human was actually the villain this time because sometimes as my final series does that but they're not like they're not like the main villain. They're just like side villain that that just get killed in like an episode or two, you know. So I'm curious to see if the Night Guard is to, going to become the main villain in this series. I hope he does, you know, and I hope that he is going to become a tough opponent for the animatronic because maybe not because he was strong, but because he was like smart and know like you know what is this animatronic? Like he like the like the Night Guard know about this animatronic in some way, right? Um, I don't know because the way they're setting up the night guard is like yeah i mean he's pretty suspicious and then well he looks familiar according to freddy and the puppet so there's that and can i just add the security puppet in the back in the background is actually quite creepy <laughs> in my opinion just imagine that thing just pop up in the, into the box uh sorry out into the bo out of box and then just like doing like this movement <laughs> you know to you like that's pretty creepy man i'm not I, I don't think that's for kids i'm just saying <laughs> i'm just saying guys and i think this is the puppet obviously before the uh the incident before the you know the soul get you know before he get the the children's soul obviously because i think i think the fnaf 6 element does come to play in some way for this for the puppet obviously because i think if you play fnaf 6 then you probably know what's gonna happen with the puppet and how the puppet finally get this like life you know or get this like you know consciousness in some way right um so yeah i'm curious to see if that's going to be i don't think that's going to be covered in the in the series but maybe the puppet is going to tell his backstory eventually right um which i'm assuming is going to be like a fun f6 similar um lore you could say that um but then again just this is my assumption because again well it's the security puppet so <laughs> that's from fnaf 6 right so and this is the way it is you know 
And um, yeah, I think that's it for today's um, episode. Um, I guess you guys can let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this episode right here. Do you guys enjoy it, you know? Um, uh, do you guys have any theory what's going to happen in the future? And if you guys already watched episode 7, then please don't spoil anything, guys. I'm, I'm like a day away from finishing this series. Well, finishing, but like, you know, catch, like what I mean is that catching up to the latest episode, you know. Mm. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Oh, man, sorry. Um, either way, yeah, just leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I like to hear them. And if you guys want to watch the original uh, video, then I will leave a link in the you know description below. As always, make sure you guys check the Amazon 3D channel. I will leave the link also in the you know description below. And make sure you guys subscribe to Jameson 3D. Show some support, obviously. And uh, if you guys enjoy my reaction video, then please leave a like, comment, you know, subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell notification bell and then share my videos out there it really helps my channel guys and um yeah i just want to say thank you for supporting my channel i really appreciate that and i hope you guys can continuing you know supporting this channel you know um so hopefully this channel can become you know like big one day hopefully this is this is my dream but i don't know hopefully we can achieve that in the future i mean soon <laughs> you know i don't know when uh, but fingers crossed, we can fingers crossed that we can achieve that um, with your support, guys. And um, yeah, I just want to say I hope you guys enjoy uh, this video. Stay tuned for more FNAF games in 3D tomorrow, obviously for episode seven. And uh, yeah, I, I guess thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's you know that's the end of the video. So uh, bye bye.